The flag is ready, but the 1812 village is still stuck in the 21st century for one more day. The last cars you'll see for a while bring the people who turn a riverbank into living stories. They call themselves reenactors, building temporary homes, laying out their wares, living the past. You see what I'm unloading now. Kevin Stewart of Leesburg, Indiana will demonstrate pioneer fire techniques tomorrow. Today, it's fast unloading. Well, I don't mind the camping out, but it's kind of a big family thing. And so it, it means more uh, in some respects, I think, to uh, kiddo and, and, and Lisa than it does especially to me. But then again, once a year you come back and you meet some of the most interesting people are, are in this place as reenactors. And just down the way, an old familiar neighborhood is taking shape. Yeah, well, I didn't want a picture taken with that dirty t-shirt. Dan Lincoln of Upland is getting ready for his 25th year of looking back two centuries. Clothes may give the look, but people like Dan bring the feel of 1812. And the night parties, <laughs> things like that. Singing, different folk singing going on and things like that. And some music at night and the campfires and makes the... Uh, atmosphere really nice. Just across the street from Dan's Flints are Sticks and Stones, also known as Rick and Sandy of Angola. It Does it always seem like work? Well, you know, it's one of them things, it's a great trade-off, not going to a factory. They've also been pitching their tent here for a while, and even if setup doesn't get any easier, at least Grant County is a familiar getaway. Oh, we enjoy our neighbors. Um, smoking fire that way, and of course Dan, and Perry next door here um, is a gourd worker, and that's real incredible stuff that he does. Mm. Well, I can still have a steak in that walnut tree over there. there. Like all good neighbors, Dan is there to lend a hand or share a memory. You just get to talking year after year. First you might just say hello, and that's it, and before long, yeah, you're hugging them, you know, and giving them a, how you doing? And after a day of setup and a night of reunions, tomorrow it's forward to the past, making this little known era a living part of the American story. It's hard to explain except that, you know, it's a it's just a personal interest in the history time period, you know, the primitive living and, and what was going on then. A story this community has learned and in this little tent city will live so the rest of us can see.